Hello, my friends. It is story time with Miss Kelsey. I have a very special book for you today. It is called, Do Frogs Drink Hot Chocolate? It's all about how animals keep warm. So as I'm reading the story, I want you guys to think about how do you keep warm when it's cold out and it's snowing out? I keep warm with my favorite blanket and this cozy hat I have on. Okay, let's get started. Do frogs drink hot chocolate? How animals keep warm. When it gets cold out, do animals turn up the heat? Hmm, no. So how do they survive the chilly weather? Let's find out. Do frogs drink hot chocolate to keep warm? No, some frogs don't even try to keep warm. The Alaskan wood frog turns into a frog sickle. It spends the winter months with most of its body frozen. When the air warms up, the frog warms up too. Do penguins snuggle with a friend? Yes. In winter, thousands of emperor penguins come together in a giant huddle. It's warm in the middle, but cold on the outside. So what do they do? The penguins shuffle. Taking small steps, they slowly change places. That way, they all get a turn in the middle. That sounds like a nice friendship, a nice teamwork to me. Do butterflies sunbathe? Yes, butterflies can't fly if they're cold and they can't make their own heat. So what do they do? They catch some rays. If it's cold, a butterfly will sit on a rock or a log and stretch its wings. Then the sun warms up the flight muscles. Do foxes wear earmuffs? No, Arctic foxes have small furry ears. Their fur helps, but so does the size. Ears stick out into the cold air. A fox's body can lose heat that way. Smaller ears don't stick out as much as the big ears, so they lose less heat. He looks nice and cozy, doesn't he? Do turtles jump up and down to keep warm? No. Many turtles will burrow into the mud and dead leaves at the bottom of a pond. The water there is cold, but it never freezes. It usually stays at about 39 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the perfect temperature for turtles who like to snooze while they wait for the spring. Do polar bears build homes? Yes, pregnant polar bears build dens, but not with wood and hammers. Instead, a mama bear uses her sharp claws to dig out a cave in the snow. When it's finished, she crawls inside to have her babies. Look how cute they are. The den keeps them all safe and warm until spring. Do whales wear snowsuits? No, whales have blubber under their skin. This is a layer of fat that helps keep their body heat in and the cold out. Whale blubber can be up to 12 inches thick. It also stores energy so whales can keep going for a long time without eating. Do squirrels curl up in blankets? Yes, sort of. Some squirrels have built in blankets. When it's cold out, they wrap their long bushy tails around themselves so their body heat won't escape. And that's not all, as the temperature drops, less blood flows to their tails. Instead, it stays in their bodies to help keep them warm. Do monkeys take hot baths to keep warm? Yes, Japanese macaques, also known as snow monkeys, love to take warm baths. There are places in Japan where hot water bubbles up naturally from the ground to form pools. After playing in the snow, the macaques will jump into these hot pools to warm up. That sounds nice. 
Do tuataras sit by a campfire? They're also kind of like lizards. But no, tuataras bodies cannot make heat, but bird bodies can. So what does a tuatara do? It has a sleepover with a little bird called a fairy prion. The, the heat from the bird helps keep the tuatara from getting too chilly overnight. Do honeybees use teamwork? Yes, in the winter, honeybees form a cluster around the queen bee. Then they shiver together. By vibrating their wing muscles, they raise the air temperature in the hive. This keeps the queen toasty warm. How do bees have all this energy for shivering? They eat honey, yum. I love honey. Do birds fly south? Yes and no. In winter, some birds fly south in search of food and warmth. Other birds survive wintry weather by eating as much as possible. This gives their bodies energy to keep warm. Feathers help too. While they're fluffed up, they trap warm air next to a bird's skin. Do guanacos wear leg warmers to keep warm? A guanaco is kind of like a llama. And yes, sort of. Guanacos have thick woolly coats, but there is very little fur on their legs. When it's cold outside, chilly guanacos lie down with their legs tucked under their bodies. This keeps them nice and warm. All of the animals in this book have special ways to survive the cold. But what about you? What do you do to keep warm? Let us know. We miss you guys. Hang in there and stay warm. Until next time. Bye.